my friend gave me this material. It's from, I think she bought it at Hobby Lobby and she sent it to me. And I love it, but there was just not enough. I wanted a circle skirt, so I got almost, I think it's a three quarter circle skirt. So I was inspired by Sonder Floor dresses. I don't like a set in sleeve that much because sometimes the shoulders don't fall right. So I just cut it on and I gave it a nice gathering on the sleeve. So I gave it buttons down the front and for the button band I used some violin and a piece of lace which is nice and sturdy. It's quite sturdy. And then for the hem I've got this fusing iron on that you use in curtains and I just tack it as I was ironing it I cut it and so I tacked it last night or sewed the hem last night so I'm happy with that the only thing I still have to do is to put in the wild pockets because it doesn't have a side seam I will have to give it wild pockets but something else I want to show you is how I added in pieces in order for me to have enough material to finish the circle skirt and that's something you can keep in mind we so often think we have to cut it all together or all in one piece and sometimes that leads to a lot of waste so this way I can use less material but actually still do the dresses I want to do and if you do it neatly and you just make sure about your grain line and stuff like that it can still look like a feature almost or just do it in a way that you can't see but I don't mind if you can see it but look I've lined it up with the middle back seam so it's a feature in the back I want to show you this is all that is left I think I had three and a half yards of I think I had four yards <laughs> it's literally just pieces I might use it in a quilt quick tip I'm busy with a circle half circle or a bit more than half a circle skirt here and I like it when the circle skirts have a wider hem so I've got this stuff a whole roll of it was given to me but you can use normal violin as well what you do is you sew it onto the edge of the material I did it like a centimeter in and then you fold it over and as you go you're going to make knips so it folds over each other and that will give you a sturdy circle hem so I'll iron that flat iron it on the edge and then I can actually iron it together and then afterwards because this hem is not on the floor or anything so I'll just go and catch it with big stitches okay I've done the buttonholes and I think I'm just going to use this so I want a very unintrusive button and it does work with that so I'm going to use that I'm now going to catch the facing and the hem just to keep it in place because sometimes they do go loose like there but I'm going to catch it all over and then my dress is done oh wait I still have to do the pockets Marked out where I want my pocket to go. So the first step is you take your welt, which I sewed together already, and you put it down like that. Then you take the smaller one of your two pocket pieces, and then you take your bigger one of the pocket pieces, and it is going over there. And I'm going to pin it in place. pockets and we are going to sew them now. I have put the needle on the edge of the welt and I'm going to let the foot just run next to where the two meet and I'm going to go right around and then end there. Okay so I've sewed it I'm going to take it out now but I want to show you the storm outside. It's hectic. It's blowing. No. <laughs> it's just came in. And it's so not so wet. Look at that wet water. Hey, you got soaking wet. Huh? This part soon. Okay, we're now going to cut it from that corner 
little triangle cut and the same over here and then we're going to cut it open and I like to cut it with this little knipper because I feel like I have more control and the points are sharper next I will turn the pocket in and just fold it back and the same on that side that one just goes down and then I will fold that piece back and that piece back and I will stitch it from that corner all the way to the other side and on this side this one that goes down I will make sure that part is folded down towards the bottom and I will top stitch it also from that corner all the way to that corner before I do that I will just zigzag the edges you can overlock but I find it's easier to zigzag done both of them that's the bottom one and this pocket is going to fall down like that and then this is the top one it's going to fold that way and this seam I'm going to stop stitch this way up towards the body so it's done it's sewn down and that one is top stitch with this seam going up and I want to just cut the top one loose so for the top one I just cut towards that inside and over there as well and then you can fold it down and it comes because you want the top one to lie flat like that this triangle that we cut out and this cake and pick the parts that we sewed onto it so we just have the triangle and then that excess I will cut out So the reason why you want it behind it, because then it gives you a clean line and then when you pull it, you can actually zigzag that together up until the top. I'm going to pin this side. And now I'm going to zigzag that there, but fine zigzag just to that, that corner. It's done and we can quickly iron it and that is my belt bucket. It sometimes does that. You can iron that out. I was too lazy to put a violin. I should have put violin in there and also over there and there. But it's not the end of the world. This is not smart pants, it's just a summer's dress.